I hate plastic bags. They're a necessary evil. It should be banned. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I could carry around a uh, paper bag instead. You kind of need them. You know, at times it's 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 a social change to remember to bring bags everywhere. Confession time. Do either of you use the plastic bags you do get for the little garbage bag in the bathroom? Oh, yeah. I do. No, actually, I don't. Um, yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Both I reuse, of you. Yeah. I reuse them for garbage bags, yeah. Well, interesting to hear those perspectives right there. How do we replace plastic bags? Tanya Otero from the Great Canadian Shoreline Cleanup back here on BT. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And as we talk and hear about plastic bags, how dangerous are these bags impact on the environment? So the impact can have, it can be a really negative impact on the environment, unfortunately. Um, once it enters our waterways, animals might ingest them. And unfortunately with plastic, it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces, meaning it can just make its way up through the food chain. So last year alone, volunteers through the Great Canadian Shoreline Cleanup found 27,000 plastic bags across Canada. That's a lot. So we want to change it. And there are several plastic-free alternatives that exist out there. Absolutely. You, you brought some to look at today. I did, yes. So I know a lot of folks use a plastic bag in their waste bin. So here's a couple I, I alternatives. We have paper instead. Um, any paper items you are already bringing into your home, that's a great alternative. Um, you can also do like a bag that you might use, like a crinkly chip bag or candy bag. If you do have, I mean, of course, a lot of the garbage that we're bringing into our home these days and putting into the bin is not compost. We're putting our compost separate. So our trash should be relatively dry, light, non-recyclable material. So with that, these items are great. If you do have a lot of like icky items in the bin that you don't want to have in paper, you can opt for a um, compostable, a certified compostable bag instead. Yeah. Or of course, reusing, reusing one of these like kind of chip bags to contain that wet material is a great alternative as well. Okay, so here's some options. And the idea of a waste audit, especially here, you start a new year, you want to ch you know, change your habits. Uh, when you look at going through your own trash, how long does it take to really study what you're doing, how much waste you're accumulating? Yeah, so a waste audit is a great way to get a sense of how much trash you're creating for the year. Now, you don't have to do that for a whole year. You don't have to collect your trash for a whole year. Do it for a week. And then at the end of the week, tip that bin to figure out what you're creating. The reason you're going to do that is you want to know just what your impact is. How much plastic are you using? How much paper are you using? You can do this just for your trash you send to landfill, but con combining it with um, your plastics as well as your metals and paper is kind of a great way to get a sense of just how much trash you're creating in general. I mean, you're kind of alluding to it, but the key categories uh, that you're looking for when you're doing this audit, what are maybe the top three? The top three would probably be plastics um, as well as, I, I would say plastics would be number one for sure. Um, and then go from there for our landfill as well as um, things like metals and things like that you might be able to reduce. The ultimate goal here is to see, um, ask yourself questions like, do I need this? Or are there reasonable alternatives for this particular item? So kind of trying to see how you can tidy up your waste bin in a sense and minimize what's there. Well, the thing that stood out to me when we knew you were coming on was really looking at the single use items that are in your trash and how to cut down on that and, and start recycling more. Um, what's happening here? So this is the typical kind of look of a grocery bag they might be bringing into your home. So we're looking at the kind of the process of bringing that item into your home and then its next step would be when you're done, done with it is you'd be recycling it. So um, here we kind of have a, a couple different items um, and I'll kind of run through the steps of what you can do to recycle those items, of course, You've got paper here, you'd flatten that and put that into your paper bin. Um, with plastics, glass and metal, of course, the golden rule of recycling is to rinse those items out before you put them into the waste bin or the recycling bin. And the reason for that is that Unfortunately, if they are contaminated with food, they cannot be recycled. So you want to really want to make your effort to recycle worth it by rinsing those items out. And then, of course, we've got we've got fruits and vegetables down there, or just fruits, I guess. Um, and a key a step there for composting those um, produce is just to make sure you take the stickers off the peels. Otherwise, unfortunately, the stickers cannot be composted. Really good tips. Great Canadian shoreline cleanup. All, obviously, we're, we're following what you're doing and hopefully cutting down the waste we create in 2019. Tanya, Amazing. Th thanks for being here. Thank you. All right, we'll take a break. We're